physical therapist before coming over here i had i was planning simply to have a basic yoga and the, only the like asanas i was aware of the yoga part rather than no other uh, stuff but after coming here i felt it's not only the asana it's a lot many the depth we have the yoga right it's like lot many cleansing uh, breathing and the like main with the meditations chakras and lot many things blocks and all so as i am a physical therapist i am working with the pregnant ladies i felt this stuff will do to help me out a lot they may increase a lot many um, their strength in their life with the help of the yoga i felt it may be some ashram kind of you know some spirituals like some different image i was having before coming over here but i felt now it's uh, like anything like it's like it's such a peaceful and the like calm i uh, calmness i am having over here it's like i'm feeling the top of the world now <laughs> i don't want to go at a home like it's a, such a peaceful and a pleasant experience i had over here but it's like the nature is there the wild life uh, like it's nothing is remaining over here to experience like it's not only the simple only the ashram life or only the sattvic food and the yogic lifestyle but it's with the nature you are with the nature so flow will be mind blowing and i'm really happy to again come for the some other workshops also it's maybe with the kids or maybe with the yoga therapy so mm-hmm. it may increase my still knowledge in my field as a physical therapist i'm very happy to come here. <laughs> My name is Fei, Uphuai Phuai Hani. I'm from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm working as a flight attendant. Um, when I when I was this, making a decision to come here, everyone asked me, are you crazy? You are going alone to be in India. Um, but after one month I have experience here, I think I made the, the right decision. Um, at the beginning, I want to say how I feel. At first, I feel like it must it is it is it was difficult for me to wake up early in the morning every day, and that you have to live with um, roommates, you know, and um, and the food is different. I eat always very spicy at home, and here we eat very um, nice whole food, like not spicy at all. But in the thirty days, I don't miss at all the spicy food. So. Um, still happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. So yes. my ex- my overall experience here is a life changing experience. Um, I never thought I can be, I can live in a simple life, and you can be very happy. And yoga is more than just asana that I always learn at home, but it's also a way of living, and um, it's all about your mind. And I love to I can say now I love to do karma yoga. Um, I really yeah. I feel happy. Mm-hmm. I'm satisfied uh, after this and I'm very happy to meet all the friends here. Hario. Hario. Hello, I'm Annie from England. Um, yeah, I've also had the best time here. Um, I think lots of people do. Um, can I think of some difficult things to prepare people? It's really been very positive. Um, the mornings get uh, are quite hard actually. When you wake up every day at five thirty, it does take a toll on your body. Uh, but then, as soon as you start chanting the mantras, you forget that, and it's fine. Um, the food—I mean, it was just. How many reviews? I don't know even where to begin. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't think you will have any problems with the food. Um, the sweets. The shop, the people, the views, all really very, very positive, lovable. Hi, I'm Kasha, I'm from Poland. Um, I came here with no real expectations, I just quit my job and I thought, okay, why not try to do something else? I didn't, at first, I didn't thought that I could be a yoga teacher. I was 
I just wanted to have like a nice yoga training for myself. But after finishing this training, I feel like, okay, maybe that's gonna be my new career. Like, you learn so much here about yoga, about yogic lifestyle, not only yoga as exercise, but the whole philosophy, psychological part, the whole lifestyle. It's just so inspiring that I'm happy to go back home and just implement all the stuff that I learned here in my real life. And I think if someone is at the same point in his life, looking for some inspiration and don't know what to do with his life, I think it's a very good place to come and to become a part of a family. Because from the first day you just feel like taken care of and that all of the people around you are so yeah, great and lovely. We just want to stick here and enjoy this moment of the life. Hey, um, I'm Lee from Vietnam. Um, before I come here, uh, actually I learned marketing. But when I know yoga and I'm become, uh, I think I will become yoga teacher the first day I know yoga. And I really love yoga. And in Vietnam, they have they have the school um, to uh, become yoga teacher. But I think I just find a uh, school um, give me the give me the yoga lifestyle and uh, and give me to yoga like uh, traditional yoga. And when I uh, when I meet their friend, he take me from here. He learn from here. I decided I come here to learn become yoga teacher, and now I'm so excited to come back to Vietnam, and I will um, share my knowledge about yoga, share how about to be the yogi, and I really love everyone, everyone here. They. <laughs> <laughs> We have sweet hot and I really love everyone here and I don't want to leave <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like not only I can say it's a, some teaching but actually it makes us to implement the same stuff in a routine life which is very much difficult in the cities. It's being in ashram, if you have fallen some rituals, it's, I felt it's quite easy because we have, for the one month here, we are get attached to it. It's like monotonous, but I really felt, I really want to imply that all the things, it's the karma yoga, the spiritual thinking, unconditional love we should have, that this, that's really difficult to have in a real life. I, I even really want to have that apply in, a, in my real life rather than just simply over here. And the one thing I really feel impressed, the teaching is not that easy stuff for everyone. Even for me, I'm very good with my clinical portions, but I'm not good with the previously with the class, being a teacher for the taking some lectures. But the way they plan the workshops, such as some lessons, micro lessons and all, finally they make you confident anyhow for taking a one hour lecture, which is I felt is very important. I don't know what other people usually conduct, but that really makes any of the person without any language bias, without us, uh, like having a depth about the uh, like that topic. But if you are following that uh, terms and the traditions the uh, guru uh, guruji tales uh, like told us, it's like you will going to be a good teacher within a one month, and that's really I felt it's a surety. Now I'm very confident to I can start when I go up. I was previously not having uh, flexibility. I can't able to have a single asana, and now all the inversions I am doing, and I'm very yeah. happy to have yeah. that all inversions. <laughs> so thank you for everything, and I really want to come again for some of my next future workshops. Thank you. Adios. 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 Adios.